Hey what's up, Demi here and in this video we'll be making a full RESTful CRUD API with Node.js in a very short amount of time. First, here are the versions of software that we're gonna use. So we need Node, NPM, Git, Curl and JQ. Let's begin by making the cars API directory CD into it and create a main.js file. Next, we'll initialize a Node project with NPM in it and install the Express NPM package. Let's also get Prettier and Nodemon as dev dependencies to make development easier. Prettier is going to format code for us and Nodemon is going to restart the API on every code change. Now we'll open package.json and set the type to module so we can use ES6 modules in our code. We'll add a start script that will run our program using Nodemon. We specify our environment variable file and the entry point which is main.js. Save it and let's configure our environment variables. There's only one, port equals 1337. Save the file and now we'll configure Prettier. I'll turn off semicolons and use single quotes for strings. That's all the setup that we need, so let's start writing code. In main.js, we'll import an initialize express. We'll make the API listen on port that is specified as an environment variable and show a log message once our server starts accepting requests. In our project file structure, we make a new directory for routers and the car router file within it. Again, we import express in the car router, but this time we create a new router instance. We use that router to create controllers for our API endpoints, and for now, let's just return a hello world message. Then we can export the router and import it in main.js and mount it on the car's base path. This means that when we start the app, the API server is going to be listening on localhost 1337, and when we issue a HTTP GET request to slash cars, we will get our hello world JSON response. Let's put in some actual car data now. We'll create a repositories directory and a car repository file within it. We'll open it up and I'll paste an array with car objects inside it. Every car is going to have ID, make, model, year, mileage and price data. We have three cars and that's going to be enough for now. Let's export a function which returns all cars. And in the car router, we import that car repository function and call it in our HTTP get handler. If we get slash cars now, we will receive our three cars from the car repository. Great, let's now expand our API with the ability to fetch a single car by ID. So in the repository, we just find and return it from the array. Then we import get car by ID in the car router, create a new get endpoint, which receives the car ID path parameter, cast it to an integer and get a car with that ID from the repository. If we now try to get cars slash three, we'll get only the third car. Cars slash one returns the first one, car slash two, the second one, of course, and so on. Next, we want to create new car entries. So we create and export a new repository function, which persists a new car in our cars array. Import it in the car router and use it in a new HTTP post handler. We also send 201 as the HTTP response code to indicate that a new record is created. One more thing, to be able to parse JSON request payloads, we need to use the express JSON body parser middleware in main.js. Now let's test the endpoint and create a new car, this time a Porsche, and we can see that we successfully persisted it in the API. Next, we want to update an existing car from a car's repository, so we create a new function that finds a car and updates it. If the car is not found, we'll throw an error. Again, we import update car in our car router and use it in a HTTP put handler. We extract the car ID and the body from the request object, and once again, we cast the car ID to in Manager. Let's test it out. We want to update the car with the ID3. Specifically, we want to lower the price to 15,000. As we can see, it works. When we get all the cars, we can confirm that the price is updated. Very good. One more feature is needed to complete our CRUD functionality, and that is deleting cars. One last time, we create another repository function, delete car. It finds a car, throws an error if not found, and if it is, remove it from the cars array. Import delete car in car router create an HTTP delete handler, extract the car ID path parameter and call delete car with it as an argument, cast it to an integer again, of course. Upon successful deletion, we won't return any response body, just a 204 HTTP status code indicating that a record is deleted. Let's list all our cars again. And for example, let's delete the third one. We issue a HTTP delete request for our third car and we get the 204 status code, meaning that the car record is successfully deleted. If we list all the cars again, we can see that the third car is gone. And this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, we made a full CRUD API with Node.js in a very short amount of time. Make sure to subscribe for more, because we will be continuing to build this API in one of the next videos. All the code you just saw is available on my GitHub, so feel free to pull it from there if you were too lazy to type everything out yourself. So that is all, like, share, subscribe and see you in part 2. Until next time.